Hi, it's Sagafi, Liberty Home Mortgage. I'm gonna talk about today six brilliant things to teach your clients. So this topic is more so for salespeople, real estate agents, even loan officers, okay? Six things to teach your clients. I might even give you a couple extra bonus ones for God's sakes, okay? Number one, this is the biggest thing when it comes to buying a home. So if you're an agent, you're working with a buyer and you're a loan officer, but this applies to loan officers too, of course. See the home for what it could be, not for what it is. This is probably, in my opinion, the biggest thing that I tell the people buying homes. When you walk into a house, see it for what it could be, not for what it is, okay? I talk to a lot of people say, hush, the carpeting's ugly on that house. Okay, great, change it. Hash, the walls are painted all funny. It's good, paint them. Hash, it's got wallpaper, wallpapered on the ceiling. Cool, rip it down. I actually told somebody yesterday, have a paint party with your friends. When you're buying your first home, it's actually exciting, and after you take ownership, it's actually really exciting to know that you could run a bulldozer right through the center of the damn thing and you're fine because you own it. You can do whatever you want in the thing, okay? So if you're not happy with the way it looks, don't worry about it. Look at the home for what it could be not for what it is. That to me, honestly, that's my number one reason. Let me give you this one, okay? Somebody buying a home. Smaller is better. Stay conservative, go easy, okay? You don't have to go and rip out this huge, gigantic house to impress all of your friends on Instagram or things like that or God knows what. Is that right? Now, if you wanna rip out the big house and you can afford it and it doesn't give you a panic attacks and things and you're eating more than cat food and dog food after buying it, by all means, go after it, okay? But legitimately, if you're stuck with, I don't know what to do, hash the payment's too high over here, but the houses in the low rent are all dumps, smaller is better. Adjust your perspective. Shift what you want into what it could be and then just work on it. They call that sweat equity, okay? Here's another one. Stay within your budget. Okay, stay within your budget. There's a movie out there with a famous actor, okay, Clint Eastwood. And this is what he said. A man has got to know his limitations. Now, he didn't say it with a smile on his face, okay? That was when he was in Dirty Harry. Man's got to know his limitations. Stay within your budget. Know what is affordable. Know what you can pay for. Know what you can't pay for. Don't push it beyond the limits. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Make sure you keep some money in the bank. Don't try to empty every dollar of your life just to get in because I always tell people this one. Owning a home, there's more to it than just a payment. A lot of people say, Hesh, I can afford that payment. That's great, but can you afford it when the hot water tank breaks at two o'clock in the morning in February and it's cold? Now, if you're in you know, South Florida, you're in Miami or you're in Southern California, Hesh, it doesn't get cold here in February. Well, good, it does in Cleveland, Ohio where I am. So whatever, okay? The bottom line is make sure it's affordable. It's more than just the payment. Stay within your budget. Get pre-approved first, okay? Before you run around and look at 20 houses, talk to a mortgage lender first. A lender's gonna tell you if you can qualify, okay? That's kind of important. I talk to a lot of people say, Hesh, I found a house, I'm about to make an offer, I need to get my credit checked, and I pull their credit, I'm like, dude, like, this ain't working, okay? You gotta get pre-approved first, so make sure you are pre-approved before you go look at houses. Now, you, that might give you anxiety. That might give you a panic attack. That might not make you feel happy because you might say, look, I don't like being told no. I do talk to a lot of people who quite honestly, you've been told no your whole life and you're about to be told no again. Do something about it, okay? If you're told no, find out why the answer is no and then work on it, whether it's one month, one year, 10 years or the rest of your life, work on it to get it fixed, okay? Another one. Disclose, disclose, disclose. Tell the lender and tell the agent everything. Tell them everything you can possibly tell them. What you like, what you don't like. When you walk into a house, what are you looking for? Do you like the size of the bedrooms, the shape of the bedrooms? Do you like two stories, one stories, basements, garages, attached, detached? Tell the lender everything. You pay child support, you pay alimony, you collect it, you don't collect it. Disclose, disclose, disclose. When you try to hold stuff back because you're afraid to disclose it, nine times out of 10 it comes back later and here's your problem. It comes back the day before closing, it blows up in everybody's face and now everyone's sitting there saying, what just happened? Disclose, 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 okay? Let me give you another one. you like this one. Don't always listen to your parents. Let me say that one again. Do not always listen to your parents, okay? Now this might sound horrible, I sound like a barbarian, okay? But here's reality. 
Your mom and dad bought a house 40 years ago. They have not bought a house in 40 years. What in the world are they going to tell you walking around a house looking at outlets on a wall? Okay, let's be completely honest with you. Dad's not climbing on the roof and ripping shingles off the damn thing, okay? <laughs> Don't always listen to your parents. Nine times out of ten when parents come to a showing to look with kids, and I understand it's a whole, this is a whole great thing, it's a great experience, especially to parents. I'm going to talk to parents also. If you're a parent, let your kids buy the house. Let, let them... Let them work with the agent. If they trust the agent, you trust the agent. The lender's going to do a good job. Then let them buy the house, okay? Now, if there's a hole in it and the, the roof's falling in on itself, well, no. But guess what? They're not going to be showing that house anyways, okay? Do not always listen to your parents. They, don't, they haven't bought a house in God knows how long. They are not the experts. The real estate agent who is showing you into 20 houses just today, who showed 20 yesterday, 20 the day before, and has done this for a year or two or 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 and it's shown thousands of homes, that's the expert to listen to. That's the person you listen to, okay? So don't always listen to your parents. And let me give you my final thought before I let this video, we cut this video out, okay? Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Be patient. Understand that this isn't the last house on the planet Earth. Sometimes this looks like your dream home it could turn into a nightmare. That's why you get home inspections. I highly recommend getting a home inspection, okay? Home inspections are very good. I recommend them. You should get them. Just because your dream home gets killed by the home inspection don't, doesn't break your heart. Don't let it break your heart. Um, go looking at other homes. There are other homes out there. Be patient. Patience is a virtue when you are buying a home. Those, my friends, are the nuggets of knowledge that I give to you as you go on your uh, crusade of looking at homes. Remember them, write them down. Of course, follow my other videos. Click the like button. Share this on your page for your friends to see um, everything I'm telling you about here. Subscribe to my page and comment. If you have questions, comment on it. And of course, hopefully I'll see you on the next video I'm doing and just keep following right along. Thanks again. We'll see you later.